do a Halloween review. Substituting in for Molly Unama. I'll be right back. Alright, hello! Welcome to r, &R where bad media from the past needs a beating. And, it's that time of year again for a spooktacular review. This is Tea Leader, substituting for Molly Unama. I'm now taking in a request for a movie that a lot of her fans have requested, and it's a B-movie called Elves. Elves is a 1989 horror film directed by Jeffrey Mandel. It stars a, with a very cheap animatronic Christmas elf with some of the least scary murder scenes. It stars Dan Haggerty, who has recently passed away and is best known for Brisley Adams. One thing that's notable about this film, yes, combining a Christmas theme horror movie. Sounds a bit like The Nightmare Before Christmas. Nope, I am not showing a clip because I do not want this video to be content ID'd again. Now, let's take a look at elves. <laughs> so our plot begins with a teenager named Kristen and a couple of her friends as they do a little pagan ritual in the woods somewhere. Good God, this scene needs more lighting. Do we need more blue to the shot? Everything ever. We have to be close to Mother Earth. Get real, Kirsten. Get over it, Amy. We now convene the Sisters of Anti-Christmas. We have thrones at the Fountain of Life! Oh, that was good! We have made evil! Let's bring the darkness down! Somehow, Kristen grabs the lit, and the lit candle and burns her hand. What appears to be way too much blood for, for first degree burns. After they run off, it happens to have awoken a demonic Christmas elf that happened to be laying on the exact spot that they were performing the ritual. She runs back home quickly, only to be encountered by her batshit crazy grandfather, who's obviously paranoid about the elves in the forest. What were you doing with your book? Nothing. I was looking at it. Where? You weren't at home? You were in the forest? No, you told me never to go there. I also told you never to touch my books. You want to hurt yourself? Let me see. How does this happen? Burns usually do not leave a scar like this. And by the looks of it, it's pretty unlikely to cause a third-degree burn. Wow, and her bitchy mom is even on the scene and hates Serb guts. Yeah, you broke the rules, you're gonna have to be punished. He's already slapped me twice. Well, that isn't gonna stay with you. But this will. Your savings account is history. I'm going to the bank tomorrow to close it out. You can't do that. That is so totally outrageous. I earned that money. It's mine. Not anymore. Nice way to steal your child's earnings, lady. What do you plan on doing with them? More gambling? In fact, for Kirsten, everyone in, the everyone in the house hates her except her black cat. Which, of course, is going to be blamed for scaring the sun after a false scare of an elf coming to his window in a very cheap way. It was the cat. It was a fucking little ninja troll. Agamemnon, come here. <gasps> Don't you hurt her. Mom! Yes, it always has something to do with your teenage daughter. In fact, the bitch mom decides to do the most cruel thing out there to drown the poor kitty in the toilet. No! She, and she even does it when the when the girl's at work. By the way, Kirsten does not realize her pet is missing until the elf decides to show up and wave the dead cat carcass in front of her window. By the way, we never hear about the dead cat again. Nope. Not to mention, the truth behind the, her mom killing her cats will never be revealed to her because she would have killed that bitch immediately and then the movie would be over. And while at work, she runs into a husky man, Grizzly Adams, who of course is played by Dan Haggerty, pottering around at the Christmas mall that she works at next to the diner and is looking for a job for Christmas. Well, I don't have anything for you. We contract out for our security animal. Well, how nice. 
But I know you always need extra help around here at Christmas time. I'll do anything. Yes, it's old Grizzly Adams. As he gets the job after one of the Santas and simply murdered in a very funny way by the elf that people are too stupid to notice. Stabbing him in the dick several times. Hmm. And by the way, I'm pretty sure that being stabbed in the in the gonads doesn't cause you to spit up paint. That obviously doesn't look like blood, will does it? <laughs> more bullshit is gonna come when Marley Onama reviews even more stupid holiday movies. But this is not a ranting type for tea leader. As Grizzly Adams takes a break from his job as Santa, he comes across the scene where, where the guy was murdered from being stabbed in the testicles, and he comes across a strange symbol that he traces, and it looks awfully familiar to him. However, little does Kirsten and her friends know that her, her father happens to be a Nazi, trying to bring back a fourth Reich. And how the hell did this plot hole get stuck in the first place? I do not know. However, he talks to his lackeys to find, to actually kidnap Kirsten and kill her friends, so that he can complete his plan involving the incestual relationship with an demonic elf. That is said to only be resurrected mm -hmm. around Christmas to mate with a pure Aryan virgin. Too late to turn back now. She is the most important person on earth. From her will grow the new order. However, Kirsten is smart enough to escape the plans of her, of her batshit crazy grandpa and her bitch of a cat killing mum that she actually decides to spend the night in the mall with her two friends. Wait, so she's obviously stealing merchandise in a mall that she has broken into without setting, up in a, setting off an alarm. While her grandpa's henchmen decide to crack them down and break into the mall. Grizzly Adams decides to secure the alarm with them locked inside just to keep her protected. It happens to work until both of her friends get killed by the two goons and one by the elf. And the biggest death you will death you will ever see on camera. And run. He didn't cut your leg off. He just he just sliced it with a knife. At least you don't have any gonads that are attached to your arteries like that last guy. But she finds out that her boyfriend and her barely even know is dead as long as they're with her two best friends she was spending the night with. This is the busiest time of year. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve for Christ's sake. Do you think anybody's gonna shop here with blood stains on the floor? I'm sorry my friend's blood all over your fucking store. You want me to stay here and clean it up, asshole? They walk their way home on Christmas Eve as Grizzly Adam ex Adams explains the, the two-foot elf that has been stalking her amongst the mannequins at the mall. And her grandfather happens to be a whole guru on it. Since he was, of course, a Nazi, it's gonna be the dumbest thing you've ever heard. Yeah, more prophecy bullshit. Oh, that is our original party insignia. What's wrong? Are we gonna be alright? No, Willie. Gramps is a Nazi. And that's why red, white, and blue are true! Booyah, you damn Nazis! How do you know that she is the last Aryan virgin left on the planet Earth? And why does the elf want to kill everyone else? However, her mom grounds her, and then feels a need to kill herself by... Right, I'm guessing the bitch mother is trying to kill herself by putting this out to joy music 
right next to her tub that can electrocute her at any moment. Until an elf comes in and knocks it over and gets herself electrocuted in the process. At least the elf is smart enough not to jump in the electric water and kill her to begin with. And I have no clue how they didn't even realize that their mom was laying dead in the tub when they found her. They run to the woods away from the elf in order to kill it. Because they have to kill it with this magic crystal shit and nothing else. Because otherwise they are essentially immortal and will breed a continuous race of Aryan demonic elves. Your dream comes from your deepest being. It is inside you. You know how to do it. Do what? Kill the elf. Grizzly Adams decides to chase down one of the goons we barely we don't even know to find the answer to to killing this elf. final clue, he's able to get back to Kristen before the cops even show up. As Kirsten and her brother encounter the elf, she asks her she asks her brother to run back to the house while being lost in the woods in order to kill it. While the elf, tr elf tries to seduce her and rapes her. And it doesn't even look like she's being raped by the elf. She doesn't even have her clothes off or anything. But he came back just in time for Kirsten to throw the magic rock into the pit in a disorienting effect. You shall not pass! Shouldn't her dad go to jail by send by conspiring to bring back a super Aryan race from Nazi Germany? And as well as hiring henchmen over to kill her friends and uh, and kidnap her. And now we get a uh, elf fetus, and assuming that she that her purpose has succeeded. By the looks of this ending screen, it looks like she ended up pregnant with the elf after all. Or I highly doubt it because the elf certainly didn't look like he was fucking you back there. And there we are ending with elves. Arable, terrible movie, even for the standards of the time. Now, I better get back to my game before she finds out. Whoa! Holy shit, she's back! She's back! Alright, tea leader, you've had your time. But Marley, I was just doing your job, girl! What I mean is, you're fired. And you did an awful job reviewing, by the way. What? I'm not welcome with the show anymore? No! Oh, yeah. Taken care of. I'm ready to do my job again. Ugh. Yeah, so now it's just me and my angel against the media devil. This is Merlo Nama signing off. Thanks for watching. I really hope you liked this video. If you want to check out more from Merlo Nama, please hit the subscribe button below. Or go to my website at www.marleomedia.com. And if you really like the content, be sure to support me on Patreon or follow me on Twitch TV. And as always, sign on.